it's Jess from Meyer Hatchery. Before we get started on our Meyer makes today, I wanted to take a quick moment and thank you for all your love and support of Meyer Hatchery's YouTube channel. Recently, we hit 10,000 subscribers. Yay! It is so incredibly amazing to see. We love sharing our poultry, our products, and all our adventures with all of you. To celebrate reaching 10K in subscribers, we're having a 10K giveaway. Be sure to visit our description below on how to enter for your chance to win a special prize. Thank you again for all your support. Let's get started on our project. It's a beautiful, wonderful, sunny day and it's springtime. So during the spring, I'm doing a lot of DIY projects for my coop. Today, I wanna to show you how I make an A-frame stand for our chicken swing. The type of coop that I have, I can't necessarily hang the swing in the coop. And I also wanted something that was a little bit lower to the ground for my silkies. So I wanna show you how I make my stand. To make this stand is incredibly easy and you don't need a lot of materials. I'm using three two by fours like this one here. The great thing about this project is you can change it depending on how tall you want your stand to be. So for mine, I want mine to be about four feet tall and three feet wide. If you want yours to be a little bit taller, you can definitely do that just by adjusting how much wood you purchase and how long you cut your pieces. To make one like mine, we're going to cut four four foot long pieces and one three foot long piece. Save your extras and you can use those for braces on the side, which I'll show you when we get there. Let's start by cutting our boards. All right, so I've got my two boards here that I'm gonna cut into four feet long pieces. And I purposely bought boards that were eight feet long, so all I have to do is cut them in half directly. And I'm gonna use my saw here to cut them up. You can use a saw like I have here. You can use a circular saw if you're really good at a handheld saw, or you can even just use a hand saw for cutting your boards. It may just take you a little extra time. All right, so I've got all my pieces cut out and I've added some angles to my four foot long pieces of wood. So on the top of my four foot piece here, I put a 60 degree angle. And on the bottom here, I put a 30 degree angle. This is going to allow my swing stand to stand up straight and not rock around on the ground. I'm going to take my three foot piece here and I'm going to attach it to the top here, kind of like that there using some screws. You can cut your angle depending on your tools, however you'd like. So today I just cut mine kind of this way here but if you have a saw that can cut an angle long ways, you can cut your angle this way and have kind of a more wider leg to your stand. It's totally up to you. So I'm gonna go grab my drill and my screws and we're gonna get everything all screwed together. To mark where I'm going to put my legs, I decided to come in uh, two inches from the edge here. So I'm using my square here. Let's turn that the right way, there we go. So I used my square and I marked two inches on either side and I'm going to line up my legs just like this and we're gonna screw it into place. This part here, if you have a way to kind of clamp this into place or a helper, it's really helpful when screwing these legs in. I'm using about an inch and a half screw for the top screw and a three inch screw for the bottom to really stabilize it. If you wanna be sure that your legs do not come off at any point in time, even with the screws, you could put a little bit of wood glue here too to help really stabilize your stand. All right, here we go. This looks really cool, I love it. I went ahead and used some scrap 30 inch pieces on either side here to help stabilize. It came down about 22 inches and screwed that into place. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this tonight and tomorrow we will add the swing and introduce it to the chickens. 
If you're going to be using your swing somewhere that is out in the elements, I would suggest maybe looking at a wood that is more weather treated. Where our swing is gonna go, it's going to be protected from the weather. The only thing that is gonna get at it is a little bit of chicken dust. So, all right, I'm gonna go get to painting and we'll check back tomorrow. All right, here's what our swing looks like, all dry, and I've added the chicken swing to the center here. I love how this came out. This is so fun. So the uh, rope that comes with the chicken swing is six feet long. So all I did is I wrapped it around the top here and secured it nice and tight. I didn't cut the extra rope because maybe someday I'm going to want to hang this somewhere that's a little bit taller, but for now this works great. I'm keeping it kind of lower to the ground because as I said before, I'm going to be using this with my bantams and my silkies. But if you have some bigger birds, you can definitely move this up a little bit higher. Hopefully I've given you some inspiration to make a swing stand for your flock. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know in the comments below. As always, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that bell so you're the first to know every time a new video has been released. Thank you so much for watching and happy spring!